Okay, I'm heading to back towards Bainbridge. I'm just uh, taking some uh, pictures here. I, I stopped. This is looking back to the... This is going to be back to the southwest. And these are storms that are actually out in front of me. And these are cells that are developing out in front. Uh, you can see the rain shafts coming down. We had some good lightning a little bit earlier as I'm trying to catch back up to these cells. And then, of course, the main uh, circulation. I actually actually feel the cold of the gust front, which is pretty amazing. But this is looking back towards the north. This is looking back towards, this is going to be Camilla. This is back towards Camilla and ominous, very ominous skies here. And the cell is uh, can stayed uh, to my north, the more concerning cell. I'm kind of in a clear slot, but this thing is so diverse and these have exploded. I can even look back towards my now looking back towards the southeast and towards the southeast we've had thunderstorms develop too and that would be back towards Cairo so those storms have actually developed there and they're pushing on back towards down the Tallahassee area so this is a very huge system of a complex of showers and thunderstorms that have just developed out of the blue uh, these started as a couple cells just to the west of Valdosta along a boundary line and they really have exploded into more of a complex of uh, scattered shower and thunderstorm activity a few cells have went severe but they're back towards actually those are back actually towards my well I don't even call it there you can't really see it but that's back towards my north and they're, they're borderline they're just over the severe limits and and I'm now, like I said, I'm having to look back towards uh, Camilla right now. And these cells have struggled to become severe, but they're still putting down some uh, lightning and heavy rain. And the gust front's been impressive on this whole complex. I'm kind of back out in front of it again. But again, I'm in a, a neat situation because I'm actually in a clear slot. It's kind of like this area of where there's no precip and the gust front's now just starting to catch up to me. And again, looking back more towards Cairo and, and uh, again I'm about eight miles northeast of Bainbridge I was on the road heading up towards Camilla decided to turn back around I'll try to get back out ahead of these storms I'll go somewhere between uh, Bainbridge and Dothan on 84 can't get too far I don't want to get too far back from my target area Tallahassee back back home so uh, it's about 4 or 4 30 I think uh, Eastern time looking back to my that's about to the southeast uh, that's going to be again cairo uh georgia and again uh, here comes the gust front getting to me i'm in a clear slot the uh, storms have developed back that direction and as well as back to my uh northeast northeast uh, this is going to be uh, camilla and then back even further north uh, with a few uh, more severe storms uh, interesting enough some storms have developed back along the front of this and this is back to the this is going to be actually back to the west of Bainbridge so I'm trying to catch up with those cells because they have some lightning and and some uh, defined rain shafts uh, they can also become the strongest of the cells as they're out in front and don't have to share the energy with the other cells that are around me right now and the other cells that you actually start to experience in the Tallahassee area as I'm filming this so where now I'm looking uh, again uh, good rain shaft right there that's back towards between uh, that's gonna be Bainbridge somewhere between Bainbridge and Dothan Alabama on 84 I'm actually gonna head that way here shortly so I just want to give you a little preview won't be able to download this until later tonight but pretty impressive here as these uh, showers and storms are all around me now and boy uh, the, the, again the gust front on this has been impressive like 30 40 mile per hour uh, consistent gust front I've seen uh, some smaller debris come down some small limbs uh, leaves in the roadway trash things like that a lot of dirt and dust but uh, I'm gonna try to intercept these cells back to my west and see if I can catch up to them and see if we can catch anything interesting get some good shots here uh, again I am Florida State student meteorologist Colby Pope reporting live I am northeast of Bainbridge by about 8 to 10 miles. So, and I'm going to continue here on these storms and try to get some good shots for you. These are now starting to look more impressive back towards Camilla, but they're staying north of my location, so I'm actually going to have to reposition to catch with them. So, I'll uh, keep chasing and try to get some uh, good footage, good vantage points here uh, while uh, being safe as well. So, again, student meteorologist, Florida State, Colby Pope, reporting live out in the field.